Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I figured I should make a video since it's been a long time, made some big changes. I do still have the C10, but I wanted to show the new project car that I got. This is a 1984 Corvette. Um, the whole thing is pretty much stock. It does have a crossfire injection, which will hopefully be changed. Uh, it does have some Lawrence Keach side effect exhaust on it, which sounds real good. Um, well, it should sound real good. Um, right now it's missing pretty hard with bad spark plugs, bad gas, but I did get it to fire. Um, the guy that was selling it said he couldn't get it to run, so I bought it real cheap and put a battery in it and it ran. Um, it's probably the easiest and luckiest project car that I have had so far. Uh, miraculously, the crossfire injection still works totally fine. Injectors work fine to my knowledge. Um, I probably won't get them tested as long as it continues to work. I probably won't get them tested at all. Um, but other than that, I mean, the, the, it is pretty much stock. Um, I know that there were a few things going on under the hood that were kind of like relays and such. Don't know what those go to. I'm going to try to get them unplugged so I don't have anything extra laying around on here. Overall, interior really not in that bad condition i was told these seats have been redone to a later c4 corvette really don't know much about them to be totally honest this is a little loose up here obviously we're missing the centerpiece but overall and, and this is gone but overall the interior really isn't too bad at all considering it's from 1984 we do have a clear target top that has been tinted I don't know if it was factory tint or if it is the way it is. No idea. This is like five on three or something ridiculous like that. You got nothing. I mean, when it's nighttime, you cannot see out of this. Or pretty much the only thing I got to do is put new tires on it and get the brakes to work on it. Um, that's the biggest, the biggest issues going on right now. But as you can see, I mean, I can fit in here. I'm, I'm five eleven, about two hundred pounds. It's a little tight, but it's really not too bad. Um, as for the gauges, they do work. They, you know, you can, these are pretty clear. Granted, the, the actual pixels are, are kind of going bad. This does work. You push on it a little harder, it brightens up. Um, over here, you can see they are lit. So there is electricity going to them. I'm going to assume that there's just a weak connection in the lights or they're just going bad. I really don't know. Um, but that is kind of where we're at right now. I do have a radio, but it does not have a memory or a memory wire or whatever it is on it. So every time I ha I restart the car or just turn it on, I have to kind of go through a setup process on it, which sucks. But, um, this is going to be a cold start. Let's see. Let's see how it does. Again, old gas, old plugs and everything. Let's just try it out. <laughs> really surprised it started up that easily because that was honestly the first start on it now the direction that the hood opens has to be one of my favorite parts about this golly you need to clean that um but really it does like i said have the crossfire injection on it, it is filthy in here i'm gonna try to clean it up a little bit try to basically minimize everything i do have an air conditioning delete kit because right now it's not working and i really I, I kind of want to build a track car out of it. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, but this is it. It is all here, I believe. Unfortunately, we have a smog pump. I really don't want to deal with that. But uh, other than that, it's just going to be a solid car. I'm thinking if I can get everything to run correctly, may throw some wheels on it, I, I guess. I don't know. I don't. I would like to lower it and get rid of this gap. But that, that side effect exhaust is so low. That is our ground clearance on stock ride height. So I'm thinking it's either do I want to lower it or do I want to keep the side effect exhaust? And right now I really don't know because apparently this exhaust is worth something. And the numbers I've been told are more than what I bought the car for. So I may sell it just so I can break even on it and then have a fun car. Uh, it does have, I don't know if you can see it, but we do have the, the dice on the wheel, but we do have drilled and slotted rotors in there. Uh, not that they work or anything, but we do have them. Um, but this is pretty much, this is the 
the new project. You will still see some of the C10, not as much because I'm gonna be messing with this a little bit more. Um, just kind of toying around with it, making videos as I go. I like to start making them again because I, I just genuinely have fun with it. But um, if you guys wanna see anything in particular on it, I'd be happy to make a video. Just let me know what you wanna see. Um, when everything gets running well, well, we'll take some clips and we'll get a good video maybe on the parkway or something uh, of the drive. But um, as of now, yeah, just leave a like. Let me know what you want to see. And I'll see you in the next video.